In this video, I'll be discussing the CT radiology of hypersensitivity pneumonitis, also known as extrinsic allergic alveolitis. In this coronal reconstruction, you can clearly see well demarcated areas of low attenuation due to air trapping against a surrounding ground glass infiltrate throughout the remaining secondary pulmonary lobules. Here again in the axial slices you can see the areas of reduced attenuation due to air trapping and this is exacerbated during the expiratory scan. You know it's an expiratory scan because the posterior wall of the trachea falls in and the difference in attenuation between the black lung and the grey lung is exacerbated during expiration. This demonstrates that on expiration, the areas of reduced attenuation remain reduced and the areas of grey lung seen here become even greyer during expiration and there's an accentuation of the difference in density between the areas of air trapping and the areas of alveolitis. Note that the posterior wall of the trachea has gone inwards, denoting that this is an expiratory scan. Axial slices a little lower down on inspiration and expiration. The mechanism of air trapping in hypersensitivity pneumonitis is as follows. During inspiration, air goes into the bronchus, which dilates normally. Now, because in hypersensitivity pneumonitis, the wall is studded with granulomas, inspiration is fine, but during expiration, the granulomas help to cause bronchoconstriction. And so during expiration, you get air trapping distal to the granulomatous airways. And this is an example of air trapping within a secondary pulmonary lobule. The centre of the lobule contains a central bronchus and a pulmonary artery. And this is the pulmonary artery which undergoes vasoconstriction because of the hypoxic environment created by air trapping.